The best way to learn more about the Serum Centre for Formation and Ministry is to come and see us. Come and see the women and men, uh, a very diverse group of individuals from a range of professional backgrounds, a range of life experience, who have gathered together to be formed as a new generation of ministers in the church. Come and experience some of the teaching and the learning that takes place over our residential weekends. Come and learn about the way in which we form this new generation of ministers in the context of their parishes or church communities. Come and see what range of learning materials we use online so that we can understand the nature of scripture, explore how people have talked about God and examine how we help people to pray and to worship and to serve the kingdom of God. There are, I think, from our perspective as a team working in this center, a number of things which we are passionate about, passionate about and which we're trying to uh, achieve. First of all, we want to train a new generation of ministers to be still, to be quiet, to look, to look inside, to pray and to help others to pray. We want to enable people's spiritual lives to deepen and expand and to be wise so that we can be wise uh, fellow travellers with other people on the way of Christ. Secondly, we want to enable our students to be skilled in theological reflection, to be able to put their theology to work, to enable any of us to walk into uh, a sports ground or a pub or with a group of friends and to be able to reflect about what life means, who God is, and how God's at work in the world. And then thirdly, we want above all else to enable our future ministers to be skilled in helping others. Helping others to celebrate life when it is at its most joyful and to sit alongside those when life is painful and difficult and they're experiencing a number of transitions. This is a bold vision for a changing church and we in the Centre for Formation and Ministry want to form a new generation of ministers that will make a difference to life, to God's life and to the church.